Alright, Shalom. It's part of the top back again in the spirit. My Yahweh Shalom Shabbat and the lesson. First and foremost, I'm going to start by giving all praises and the glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Rakaka Gash, the bonus to the apostles and to the elders of Red Millstone, who taught us his knowledge through the spirit and inspiration of Yahweh Shalom Shabbat. Must peace, love, and salutation to our brothers when it's work and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Um, the title of this lesson is going to be called Safety because, you know, with all this shit that's going on in the earth right now, you know, um, you're gonna need a place of refuge, you know? So, we make our refuge in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So, without further ado, I'ma jump right into the lesson, the Lord willing, it's edifying. Because, you know, people are just trying to save their lives, you know? But Yahweh Shah said it best, man. You save your life, you're gonna lose it. quick this is the book of um, proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 it says the name of yahweh is a strong tower the righteous run runneth into it and it's safe so you got jake out here running to these these other weak ass towers man you know run up on the tower of allah you know and uh, that's one of the main like christianity and um that bullshit islam is what the strongholds that, that Jake run to, man, which it ain't it ain't profiting you, you know, it, it doesn't profit you, those are weak towers, man, those are idols, those gods are idols, man, you know, and Jake, they love to run to these idols, they, have not, they don't even know these people, man, you know, they don't even know the hell, they don't even know these idols, man, but they run to these idols, like they, they the ones that deliver them out of the land of Egypt, man, you know, how about Shemel is the one that did that, man, Know, but the scripture says the righteous runneth into it and the wicked of our people run into these other towers man and they're gonna end up dying because they run they trusting in these other gods man who, who they don't even know man you know worshiping a damn stone and shit man what kind of shit is that the lord never told hey the, the lord told us that he's a jealous power man we supposed to have our eyes single towards the lord not serving other gods this is um the book of Jeremiah chapter 2. I'm going to get to the point. Verse 27. It says, Say unto a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone, Thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they shall they will say, Arise and save us. But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. So, you know, the Lord said, man, you want to run to these other gods, and then when you find out that they ain't worth a damn, they ain't real gods, then you're going to want the Lord to save you. Nah, go back to your other gods, man. You know, of wood and stone, things of that nature, man. Well, go worship Caesar Borgia, you know, see if, see if he going to, you know, get up, wake up, and keep, uh, save you, man. You know, see if that stone going to help you. Y'all trusted in the wrong stone, man. Y'all should have been trusting in the chief cornerstone, which is Yahweh Shah. You know, that stone that smoke that that statue upon the feet and it fell you know the stone that the um the the, the builders rejected which is talking about yahweh shah hamashiach man you know that's the stone y'all should have been trusting in man but y'all want to trust in a stone that ain't gonna do shit for you man you know that, that's a lesson man. y'all trusting in the wrong stone <laughs> that's another that's another lesson bear with me you're right let me jot that down that's another lesson you know Y'all trusted in the wrong stone. The wrong stone. Because y'all should have been trusted in that stone that, you know, the chief cornerstone, you know? Not a, not a stone. Not that, not that power stone, you know? That Because um, a lot of a lot of Jakes worship Allah, man, which is Allah in the Hebrew, which just means power, man. You know, it doesn't it doesn't really mean shit. And it's a stone, you know, it's not really a god, man. Like the scripture says, all of the gods are idols. But you know, that's not the topic of this story uh, of this lesson. So, you know, so like I just had to get that out. I'm gonna go on right next to my next precept. Uh the book of Psalms, chapter 12. Psalms chapter 12. You know, you got Jake out here trying to save their life, and they still losing it, man. Psalms chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. Psalms chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. You know, um, Jake trying to save their lives, 
and they still end up dying from the same shit they're trying to prevent themselves from getting fucking stupid hey we we told you through the spirit man these these devils are physicians of no value yet you trust in their own um, their jabs man this is on the book of psalms chapter 12 verse 1 it says he help yahweh for the godly man cease it for the faithful fell from among the children of men they speak va van vanity everyone with his neighbor with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak Yahweh shall cut off all flattering lips and a tongue that speaketh proud things. And this is um the spirit of America. A lot of people are speaking flattery, speaking proud things against the Heavenly Father. You know, a lot of people don't believe that there's a God in heaven. You know? They they talking shit just because, you know, the script, you know, the, the judgment ain't been executed upon their ass yet. And most likely, you know, our top enemy, Esau, needs to be put down like a bad dog, man. Verse 4. It says, Who have said with our tongue? We will prevail our lips are are our own who who is lord over us for the oppression of the poor for the sight of the needy now will i arise said yahweh i will set him in safety from him that puffeth up at him puffeth at him so right now the lord is going to set the righteous into safety you know because those are the only ones that the lord is dealing with his elect he's not talking about the whole world man he only talking about a certain few men 144,000 in the hopeful elect, man. You know, in the um, one third. That's who the Lord is going to set in safety. He's not setting all these people in, out here on safety, man, because they're not trusting in Yahweh Shemel Shah. They don't believe in the Lord, man. You know, but the time's going to come. Everybody going to worship, try to worship. Everybody going to try to find the, the truth when they find out all these other religions was nothing but a bunch of bullshit. They going to try to find the Lord, but guess what? They ain't going to be, the Lord ain't going to be found. You know, cause that the time of uh, the time of destruction is gonna be at hand man, for a lot of people. It says, verse six: The words of Yahweh are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. So if you you trusting in these words, man, these words are pure words, man. You know, that means it's 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 clean, it's undefiled, it's pure. You know, it's a hundred percent. It's not 99.999999. No, it's a, this word is 100%, man. 100% truth. Like the elders always say, they have the 100% truth, man. Because they, because it comes out of the Bible, man. The scriptures. You know? It's not it's not something that you have an epiphany and you think about, man. And this, this truth, this word was given by the inspiration of the Most High, man. And it was given to men. A certain men. So let's get, let's see here on. This is, um. The book of Psalms, chapter 44, verse 6. It says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us for our, from our enemies, and hast put them to shame that hated us. Right? So, you don't, you know, when the time comes, you don't supposed to trust in, you know, you don't trust in this, trust in that. You know, this to deliver you. We got to trust in the Heavenly Father, man. His name is Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. And, you know, to fact, to know those names is a blessing by itself. You know? So, you can't trust in all of these vain shit out here, man, basically. You know, because that's not going to make you safe. The only way that you're going to be safe is with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, man. In that strong tower, which is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, man. Going on to the next precept. So, the book of Proverbs. I'm going the wrong way. The book of Proverbs, chapter. No, I was going the right way. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 14. It says, Where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors there is safety. Why I got that precept is because, you know, Jake don't want to hit a counsel. That word counsel goes back to instruction. So they don't want to hit an instruction. They don't want to hit a counsel of Yahweh by Shabbat Shah. And we, through the Spirit, you know, the prophets, the men that teach this word, we are the counselors. Of Yahweh because we're instructing Jake, we're instructing you in righteousness, so to speak, man. We're instructing you on the way to go, you know, leading you down the right path, so to speak, man. We're we're being your shepherds, we're being your counselors. We're through the spirit and power Yahweh Shemal Shah, we're counseling you through the spirit, you know, letting you know who to trust in, letting know, you know, what to do, sort of things like that, man. You know, letting you know the things that please the Lord. The things that we bring out. The things that we teach, these are the things that please the Lord. And and even when you're doing this less, these lessons, these 
classes, you know, we're, we're pleasing the Lord man, by doing this because we're feeding the sheep. What Yahweh Yah Shah said, if you love me, feed my sheep. So we're feeding the sheep of Yahweh Shah and Shah. We're, we're counseling the sheep of Yahweh Shah and Shah. You know, so if you, I'm going to read it again, verse 14. It says, where no counsel is, the people fall. And that's what's wrong with Jake. They don't have no counsel. They don't have no instruction. And that's why it's a lot of Jake's dying. They don't have no counsel, man. You know, they don't want to listen to the counsel. That's what it is, man. They don't want to hear the, the, the words of the Lord. They don't want to hear that. So therefore, they're falling. And they're going to fall into a ditch. But it says, But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety, right? Talking about the elect, you know, the men of the Lord. There's safety. Why? Because we trust in the Lord. Why? Because we're, we're following the Lord. We're following the blueprint. You know, we're following what the Lord wants us to do. Because if we're doing what the Lord told us to do, then the scripture says no evil shall happen unto you. I'm going to see if I can get that real quick. Uh, do no harm. I mean, do no evil and no harm shall come unto thee. I believe it's in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes. I mean, Sirach, the book of Sirach. This is Sirach 71. It says, do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. Depart from the unjust and the iniquity shall turn away from thee. Right, so do no evil and no harm is going to come unto you, man. No, because the Lord, Yahweh, is the one that orchestrates the good and evil on the earth, man. You know, if evil happened unto you, hey, the Lord, the Lord did it to you, man. You know, so it's best that you repent, man. Repent daily, you know. Repent, pray. Hey, the scripture says pray without ceasing. That talk, that goes for me too, you know. Whether it be a prayer in your head, you say a prayer in your head, or, you know, you call on him like, you know, you know, sending praises to the Lord, man. Hey, always pray, man. You know, pray for mercy, pray for strength. You know, that's one of the two of the main things that I pray for through the Spirit. You know, Lord willing, you know, when I when I do prayer, I try to pray for strength, I try to pray for um, mercy. Because, you know, we go off, off, man. We go off, man. Hey, we go off. So that's what it is. Hey, I always pray without ceasing, like this in the scriptures. Um, where was I? Okay, I was done with that. The book of Second Timothy. And 16. So that last priest of Aku went to went, went into went into council, right? And instruction. This is um 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. It says, All strip scripture is given by inspiration of the most high, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, and for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Now remember that word counsel goes back to instruction so through the spirit the scripture is given this this the scripture is the counsel this word is the counselor you know through the spirit and power the word is the counsel which the word counsel goes back to instruction so all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high you know that is is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness counsel in righteousness that's what the scripture is for and a lot of people not listening so that's why the scriptures is here man to instruct you and counsel you in righteousness and if you don't want to follow that counsel or that instruction then you're going to end up you know dead because hey the lord is not playing man it's the book of um pro proverbs chapter 21 verse 31 it says the horse prepared prepared against the day of battle but safety is of Yahweh. so when you go out to battle man your horse prepares the way but the Lord is the one that makes sure that you're safe that you return back from the battle man you know like we're going out on the highways and the byways you know I you know we might the Lord is the one that makes us return safely there that makes you know nothing happens to us is meant because Yahweh, the Lord said, "Touch not and anoint, touch not mine anointing, and do my prophets no harm." And we're the prophets of the Lord, and we we do His bidding. Um, I just thought of a scripture. Oh, there you go. The Book of Psalms, chapter thirty-four. How do we return safely? This is Psalms thirty-four and seven. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear Him and delivered them. So if there was any situation where something was going to happen, the angel of the Lord caused that situation not to happen. 
Because believe it or not, there are forces out here that is that wants to see us dead, man. You know? And that's the reality of it, man. You know, you pushing this word, you got you know you believe in the Lord, you got oh hey, I'll say one forty four right there. Call I'm lay about call I'm lay watch I'm shot. Hey, you pushing this word, you gotta count you gotta count the cost, man. You gotta know what you getting yourself into. You gotta know what this thing is about. You gotta know that when you teaching this word, what you know can kill you, man. You know? Because we know this word and we push this word, we're a threat to the society, man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and 140. Um, verse 40 140 it says the thy word is pure therefore thy servant loveth thee so you're supposed to love this word man you're supposed to love this ministry you're supposed to love doing this man love doing the videos love doing this man you know because hey this this word is pure and it's undefiled man it's it's, it's you're supposed to love it man you know which the word is how was shot man Bear with me. Okay, just going on to the last precept that I have on board concerning safety because we need safety in these last days, man. We, Because we got a lot of enemies, man. And Esau gonna come with his stormtroopers and try to, you know, get rid of us, X us out, so to speak. So we need to dwell in safety. And with Yahweh Shemel Shai, you will be in safety. Even though the Lord might have some of us go to prison, you know, we might end up losing our lives. That comes with that. Um, what's that precept? Um, though he slay me, yet will I put my trust in him. Let me see. Where is that at? Though he slay me. I will put my trust in him. So even if the Lord, I believe, I gotta find that man, cause that that's beautiful. Um, I just hey, the spirit just hit me with that lesson. I mean that that precept. Though he slay me, yet will I put my trust in him. So if the Lord. Oh man, where's that precept at? I forget where it was at. Um, though he slay me, yet will I put my trust in him. Oh man, I wish I could search that real quick. <clears throat> Psalms 34 and 21. Let's see what that says. I thought it was in the book of Psalms. It might be. I think it's in the book of Psalms because I think King David said it. 34 and uh, what it was? Slay me, yet will I put my trust in him. Ah, oh, where's that precept at? <laughs> That's a good precept. Psalms 37 and 32. Let's see what that says. Ah, oh, man, I can't find that precept, man. But I'm going to go on to the next one. This is on the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 7. It says, Though thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. 
And that's what we depend on the Lord for. We depend on the Lord for safety, you know, which, you know, hide it. Hide us. Hide me, little Lord, you know, from the secret counsel of the wicked. That's what we want. That's what we need because this devil going to try to come down and try to eradicate us, man. But guess what? The Lord going to stand up, man. Um, though he slay me, yet will I put my trust in him. That precept is stuck in my head. I can't get it out. I just can't remember where it's at. <clears throat> but even if the Lord was to, it might be Job. I think it's Job. It's, it it got to be Job. Yeah, it is Job. Um, let me see. Though he slay me yet, will I trust him? Something like that. Let me see. Uh, it got to be Job. It's in the book of Job. I, I the script on this. It's in Job. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him? Something like that. Job 13 and 15. That might be it. Let's see. That might be it. Because I think it's in Job. Book of Job 13 verse 15. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Con, call him like a shot. This is uh, the book of Job, chapter 13, verse 15. It says, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. So, even if the Lord, you know, calls us to be put to death, we still gonna trust in him, man. You know, because hey, the scripture says, What to the most high belongs the issues of death. Because the if you got put to death, then the Lord did that to you. And we gonna trust in the Lord whether he put us to death or not, man. We in it for the long ride, man. We you know. We trust in the Lord to the very end. To the very, 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 very end, man. To the bitter end. We got to trust in the Lord to the bitter end, man. Because it's going to get bitter out here, man. It's going to get unpleasant. It's, gonna, it's not going to feel right. But guess what? You're not going to be comfortable. But guess what? We got to trust in the Lord to the very, very, very end. This is... um. Sirach chapter 2 or Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 10 it says look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded no that's a rhetorical question or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him so that right now should give you more faith to believe in the Lord man the Lord ain't gonna forsake you if you fear him and you trust in him man and that's a plain and simple man the scripture ain't no the scripture don't lie. This is the back in the book of Psalms, chapter 33. I'm gonna start at verse 16. It says, There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety, neither shall he she shall he deliver any by his great strength. So the Lord is letting you know. Well, King, you know, this is a psalm of it doesn't say uh, It doesn't say The one before this one was a psalm of David I believe it's a psalm of David also But um, It says the king is not saved by strength And you can't be saved by no horses Horses strength man So this is automatically letting you know Not to trust in these things I'm going to read it again This is Psalms 33 and 16 There is no king saved by the multitude of an host a mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is not is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver him, then deliver by deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of Yahweh is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. And the Lord is going to do that. What he said, that my servant shall eat. like it. the lord is going to keep you in the end famine man if you believe in it you believe that the lord's going to do it he's going to do it man you know look what happened to elijah you know he was fed twice a day bread and flesh man by ravens 
So to what, remember what the scripture says, the things that are written aforetime are written for our learning. You know? The Lord ne never forsook his men. He never did. Even um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, those are their, um, their uh, uh, Babylonian names. But it's... Um, <laughs> The Lord didn't forsake them. Um, this is uh, Psalms 33 and um, 19. It says, To deliver the soul from the death, from death, and to keep them alive in famine. Our souls waited for Yahweh. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him, because he hath, we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Yahweh, be upon us according as we hope in thee. So we got to remain, keep our hope in the Lord. Plain and simple. Because in the Lord, we will find safety. You know, these other people, they're finding safety in a jab. They're finding safety in trusting in this devil, which they're going to find out that that was a, that was a false safety. Man. That's, that's, you, wasn't, you ain't safe. You ain't safe. That jab still ain't saving you from the Lord, man. The Lord still can take your ass out if you take that jab, man. So trust in the Lord. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 121 and 1. It says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from Yahweh, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Right. The Lord don't sleep. Think the Lord takes time off, man. <laughs> the Lord don't slumber, man. The Lord gonna keep us 24-7 if you really trust and believe in him, man. The Lord gonna keep you in safety. The Lord is our overseer. The Lord is our protection. The Lord is our shield and buckler. The Lord is our protection. The Lord is our the Lord is our salvation. The Lord is our deliverance. He's everything to us, man. And you got to believe in Yahweh Shemel Shai. You know, that's the base of this lesson. Because in the Lord is safety. In Yahweh is safety. You will be safe. You know, like when you cross the arm um, in baseball, when you safe, you know, you hit that, that, hit that final base, that, that final base, and the, um, the referee got to come and look at it and make sure you're safe. With Yahweh, you're safe. You're safe, man. You're safe. You got to believe that, man. Believe it. You got to believe that you're safe with the Lord, man. Not with no damn jab. Not with the RFID microchip. But with Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. You got to believe that you're safe, man. You got to believe that you're dwelling in safety with the Lord, man. Um... This is book of Psalms, chapter 121. Verse 3, it says, He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He will keep thee, and he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Right, the Lord going to keep us 24-7, man. We're going to dwell in safety as long as we with the Lord, man. But when you depart from the Lord, that's when you, 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 come, you step back into that, the target. You know, you step into the targeting range of Yahweh by smell shot, man. So we got to stay and trust on the Lord. Verse 5. Yahweh is not thy keeper. Yahweh is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Yahweh shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Yahweh shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from thy this time forth and even forevermore. Shalom. So the scripture says the Lord gonna preserve your going out and your coming in, man. So hey, that is behooves us, man. We gotta trust and stay on the Lord, man. Cause that's who our trust is in. That's who our safety is at. You know, you wanna be safe, you gotta trust in the true names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. You know, that's the true name of the Father. The true name of the Father is Yahweh. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shah, man. If you wanna if you wanna dwell in safety when you dwell with the Lord, that's where you ultimately will be safe from all evil. You know? And the scriptures tell you that. And it's gonna be a lot of evil that happens out here. But guess who's bringing it? 
the Lord is bringing it. People be like, oh, the, Satan is Satan is under the orders of the Lord. You know, he's one of the he wants the Lord's henchmen, so to speak, man. This is on the book of Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So the Lord letting you know who does all the evil in the earth. So if you want to, if you want to dwell in safety, you know who to trust in, man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. That's how you dwell in safety, trusting in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So with that, man, um, let me see. I'm leave y'all with this precept. Do the spirit. Matthew 16 and 25. This is Matthew 16 and 25. It says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. So you save your life. If you save your life, you trying to save your life. It's not gonna work. You're gonna lose it. But if you lose your life for the Lord's sake, you shall find it. You know, so with that. Lord, what this is most edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah. I'm going to close out by giving all praises and the glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakat Kodash, the um, double honors to the apostles and to the elders of the great millstone. Most peace, love, and salutation to the brothers doing his work and truth to sincerity. I want to say Shalom, Kormiyash Allah, Wa'abah Ubah, Wa'abah Adamah, Shalom.